join us. It's day three of Bo's two-week board and train. Today he's going to be learning sit and wait. Great command for all openings, doors, and gates to keep your pets safe. He is also continuing with his place command, working on distance and duration on command. In addition, his recall command, which is here. With little dogs, they can get underfoot quite easily. That's why walking with them is so important in terms of a defined position. Later on this week, he's going to be working on his heel command, which will give us a little bit more control when we're out. Here we go with our follow command. Oh, follow. Go ahead and have him drag this leash. Hello. It's a step toward being uh, off leash out here. Hello. And you can see he starts to get distracted, but he is checking in with me. Hello. And by changing pace, I am actually adding energy to the exercise. So, follow. Here we go with follow and sit and wait. He's gonna be dragging his leash. Go follow. Go sit. Go wait. Go follow. Go sit. Wait. And it doesn't matter whether he sits or downs, just so he's stationary. I'm using my body as a distraction. The more times I go around, it gives me an idea of duration. Duration on command, I'm trying to lengthen that out for him so he'll have a good solid sit. Follow. Follow. Okay, so you can see he's unsure which command uh, to be in at this point. We are working on that. We are on day three. Both sit, wait. Bo, let's go. Bo, sit, wait. Bo, Bo. Good boy, Bo. There's a lot going on the first couple days during training, a lot of information he's trying to uh, process. There are several points of communication that he's receiving when his leash is attached to his martingale collar, the snugness or pressure he feels from that. Uh, again, a martingale collar is a control collar. It is not a correction collar. It basically keeps a dog from backing out. In addition to uh, his leash and his martingale, which is one point of communication, he also has uh, his e-collar on. So I'm working through the different uh, buttons to just give him the opportunity to understand uh, what command we're doing and then 
going ahead and modifying that each day. The other points of communication that he gets is my verbal command. He also has an opportunity to read my body language and I'm also doing hand signals. The goal is to drop out different uh, communication points. The leash, as you've seen, I unsnapped that. So that allows him just to work on my verbal, the hand signal, my body language, uh, and the, uh, the e-collar. Okay, we're going to do some uh, sit and wait here at the door. So we're going to just start with some simple up swinging of the door and see if he goes off task. Okay, so Bo is in the way of the door swinging closed. So I'm going to go ahead and move him out of the way. Bo, let's go. Bo, sit. Wait. Okay, so he's starting to turn around. That's something that we're going to be working on in the coming days uh, is him turning. Wait. going to go ahead and uh, call him further out. Bo here. Bo here. Wait. Sit. Wait. Oh, let's go. Okay, so he didn't come all the way, so Bo here. Good. Wait. Bo here. So I can't swing the door to close it, so I'm going to just move him a little bit. Bo, let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Bo here. Bo here. Bo, sit. Wait. going to be dragging his long line in preparation of moving outside of the yard. So here we go with that. Bo here. 
bow here. Bow place. Here. 